안녕하세요. Welcome back to Talk to Me in Korean's live Korean class. This is 7.30 a.m. It is 7.30 a.m. on a Monday in South Korea. I'm waiting for people to come in. 안녕하세요, 박도하님. Thank you for joining us so often. All right, um, so for those of you who are watching the recorded video after this live class is over, please find all the timestamps in the first pinned comment below the video. Doro, Sol, Rodrigo, Summer, Dexter, Oscar, Jeff, Ani, Wendy, Aya, 반갑습니다. Welcome, G, J, 안녕하세요, Rina, <laughs> good morning. All right, so today you saw the title. We, by the way, I bought a new desk lamp, LED stand for you guys. <laughs> Any French people here? Jeff asks. Anybody? Hmm. Okay. Uh, I will update the Mac tomorrow. All right. So, 안녕하세요. 반갑습니다. Things you can say to yourself in Korean or how to talk to yourself in Korean is today's topic. Okay. <laughs> 안녕하세요. 반갑습니다. 공부하다 왔어요. 아하. 무슨 공부하다 왔어요? 혹시 한국어? Were you studying Korean before you moved over here? <웃음> 반갑습니다. So, today I see that a lot of people are from France or speak French. Oh, Snow Boo, that's a good kind of binge watching. You stopped watching a Talk to Me in Korean recorded live Korean class to watch another live Korean class. Yes, a real time live class is better than a recorded live class, right? So, by the way, I got some new things like the new light and a new tripod for the phone. And this tripod, I'm using it for the first time, and it's a little bit more wobbly than I thought it would be. So, I will be careful when I'm touching the phone and anything. Okay, 좋아요. 빨리 시작하겠습니다. June is sleeping. So is you. So is my wife. But yeah, <laughs> it's normal. He wakes up around 9 a.m. 시작해 볼까요? Today, we're going to be talking about um, how to talk to yourself in Korean. It's, um, there are many things you can say, of course. You are, I mean, when you say talking to yourself, you could be talking about saying good things to yourself to motivate yourself or um, just blaming yourself for things. But I'm talking about things in general that you can just utter out, like mumble or mutter when you are by yourself. And this is going to be a really good way to practice making sentences, okay? So, first of all, in English or in other languages, the sentence structure doesn't change. The ending doesn't change. Like, why did you do it? You just change it to I. Why did I do it? Why did I do it? You know, it's the same thing. It's easier in other, I guess, European languages, but, or Western languages, but in Korean, you have to use a specific ending, okay? Um, 마지막에 문장 뒷부분에 지를 써야 돼요, 지. So we're going to be learning about 지, okay? 지. I see many questions right now. I will get back to your questions a little later after I focus on today's topic, okay? 지. Uh, yeah. You, you can use this in... Uh, journal entry in a diary, okay? <clears throat> 지. Yes, you can put 지, uh, you can put yo after 지 and then it'll change to 조. But I'll get back to this one a little later. Let's talk about 지. So whenever you are wondering something, wondering about something out loud, excuse me, <clears throat> sometimes my throat does this in the morning, So, for example, the normal, uh, here, a normal question will be like, 뭐예요, for example, what is it, 뭐예요? 
뭐야? Do you know these two? 뭐예요? <웃음> 뭐예요? 뭐야? 뭐예요 is what is it? What is it? 뭐야 is what is it? This one is in 존댓말, this one is in 반말. 뭐예요? Please repeat after me. 뭐예요? 뭐예요? 뭐야? 뭐야? 언제예요? When is it? 언제야? When is it? 가수 mean, oh, it's 4 a.m.? You need to go to sleep. You can watch this later, a recorded version a little later. Okay, 언제예요? 언제야? So, these are more common, normal um, questions that you can say in a conversation with someone, either in 존댓말 or 반말. But when you're talking to yourself, you have to change it to 뭐지? 언제지? Obviously, there are other endings that you can use, but I won't introduce them, at least not in detail, in this class, because chi is the most crucial one that you need to know to ask yourself something, okay? 뭐지? 뭐지? So, you're asking yourself, so you don't have to worry about speaking 존댓말 to yourself, okay? KSO, uh, KSO you are not late. Yeah. <laughs> Wendy. You always say, 돈이 어디 갔지? Where did my money go? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 언제 means when. 언제 예요 means when is it. Okay? So you always hear this in Korean dramas. I see. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to... Actually, I forgot to tweet this out. I always do this, right? So I'm gonna tweet out. Practice. Everyone, while I'm... Sending a tweet to all the people who are on Twitter. Join us now. Yeah, this time the tweet is super short. Just join us now. Okay, so that's easy. Uh, if you think this is too easy for you, please wait because, please stay with me because I have other really good phrases that I want to introduce. So let me speed things up. So one good a phrase that you can say to ask yourself. Yes, Bashaer. Um, 이거 어떡하지? 이거 어떡하지 is very, very useful because 이거 is this and 어떡하지 is what should I do? 어떡하지 is short for 어떻게 하지? Please repeat after me. 어떻게 하지? 어떻게 하지? 어떻게 하지? And then say it 10 times faster. 어떻게 하지? 어떻게 하지? 어떻게 하지? 어떻게 하지? 어떻게 하지? It becomes 어떻게 하지. So it has even become the official spelling for 어떻게 하지. So now it's also standard. 어떻게 하지? So 이거 plus so and so 지 이거 so and so 지 is very very common. So 이거 뭐지? 이거 어떻게 하지? 이거 왜 이러지? Why is this one like this? So when you are talking to yourself, um, and for example, when your computer is acting up, <laughs> Ashley, you've heard it so many times in Korean dramas. Yes, it's because it's something that you can say when you're thinking out loud. Um, 이거 왜 안되지? So let's read these four phrases together. 이거 뭐지? What is this? You're Again, you're wondering just out loud, okay? You're asking yourself, 이거 뭐지? 이거 뭐지? 이거 어떡하지? 이거 왜 이러지? Why is this acting like this? 이거 왜안 되지? Why doesn't this work? Why isn't this working? Why is this broken? 이거 왜안 되지? Your phone is like not taking a photo when you really need to take a photo of that, you know, thing. Um, and, oh, 이거 왜안 되지? 이거 왜안 되지? So you're talking to yourself. So an important uh, piece of information, all of these things, of course, you are learning these phrases as phrases you can say to yourself, but you can say these to a friend. If you're using 반말, you can say this to somebody as well, okay? You cannot say this to somebody who you have to speak 존댓말 with, formal language with, but to somebody that you speak comfortably in 반말, you can say this. 이거 뭐지? 이거 어떡하지? To a friend. Imagine saying this to a friend. 
어떡하지? So and because I mentioned this before in a previous live chat, but when you ask a question like this, the question is half falling on you and the other half is falling on the other person. So a uh, good question. What does T mean um, originally? Um, T is basically used in situations like this. You're asking yourself, you're just wondering about something in this case, especially you put it in a question form like this. How much is this Apple screen? It's not an Apple screen. It's just an iMac, um, very old, nine years old. <laughs> I got it in 2011 and I haven't been using it for the past like five years. I booted it up just for you. <laughs> okay, once again, the translation. 이거 뭐지? What is this? 이거 어떡하지? What should I do about this? 이거 왜 이러지? Why is it, you know, like this? 이거 왜안 되지? Why doesn't this work? All right, so good phrases you can say to yourself. All right, so moving on. Please remember that all of these are uh, just 반말 expressions. Rafael, you are new on this channel. You want to learn Korean from the first level. You should just visit our website, talktomeinkorean.com. You will see all the things you need, okay? All right, and then you can even use the past tense with this. So, 뭐였어요? Okay, this is 존댓말. 뭐였어 is 반말, right? 뭐였어? And then, since you're asking yourself, you use the 지 ending. 뭐였지? Okay, 뭐였지? What was it? 뭐였지? And you say this with somebody as well, like in 반말. Yeah, 뭐였지? 뭐였지? 그거 뭐였지? What was that thing that we talked about last night? 그거 뭐였지? Yeah, yeah, that thing. <laughs> 그거 뭐였지? Exactly. Oh, when you want to say, oh, what time is it? You say, 지금 몇 시지? 지금 몇 시지? 지금 어디지? Where is it? Or 지금, where are we now? Maybe you don't have to ask 지금 어디지? Uh, 그거 얼마지? How much is it? <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. Susanna, is it okay to pronounce more with a little bit of a O sound? More, more. Yes, you can say that. Mm. Yeah, 왜안 되지? Mm -hmm. 왜 없지? Why isn't it here? Your phone needs to be here. 왜 없지? 왜 없지? Where's my phone? Ah, I'm using it for the live chat. <laughs> so, 왜 없지? Okay, so let's go back uh, go back a little bit to using T with the past tense, okay? T plus Yeah, many people occasionally mention that I'm fast at typing. I think I am not slow, but typing fast or trying to type fast means there are lots of typos. <laughs> so please bear with me when I make a typo and not notice. So T plus past tense. Often you use like 였지. So for example, uh, 어디 갔지? Yeah, so in this case, I'll just have to put all, all the forms. At, at. So um, verb stems ending with O or A. And O or A are followed by 았지. And most of the remainder of the verb stems are followed by 어찌 and 하다 is followed by 였지 and becomes 했지. So, 어디 갔지? 내, 내 지갑 어디 갔지? 내폰 어디 갔지? Okay. Hmm. And then, uh, 뭐였지? What was it? Okay, again. 언제였지? 내 생일이 언제였지? Mm -hmm. 엄마 생일이 언제였지? <laughs> we often forget the birthday of our parents, right? So, 뭐였지? Uh -huh. uh, so, 지 싶어서 is a little bit different, uh, Tiffany. 
Okay, so 지갑 is wallet. Mm -hmm. So there are lots of really interesting questions that I want to introduce uh, and answer, but I will pick 지, 싶다 for now and actually come back to um, practicing more self-talk uh, phrases. So because we're talking about 지, you might be wondering, um, how about this 지? Is it the same as the 지 that you're talking about? This one is not, not the same as the 지 we're talking about. 지 싶다 is an advanced grammar point um, that you can use when you say, I think. Uh, it means, I think it's tomorrow. So just I'll just give you this one. 내일이지 싶어요. 이건 좀 아니지 싶어요. 이건 좀 아니에요. Oops, another typo. So, first of all, this is a good phrase that any everybody can learn today. Very good. 이건 좀 아니에요. 이건, this is not. But it means this is not right. Okay, please. 이건 좀 아니에요. 이건 좀 아니에요. So, that was okay. That's acceptable. That's forgivable. That's a good idea. Oh, 이건 좀 아니에요. Oh, this is too much. You know, there are jokes being thrown around and then somebody says a really, really terrible dad joke. Uh, 이건 좀 아니에요. <laughs> that, no, that, that doesn't work. That doesn't fly here. 이건 좀 아니에요. You know, Billy from the YouTube channel, Go Billy Korean, whenever he and I talk through Kakao Talk, <laughs> we're always having these 아, 이건 좀 아니에요 moments. Like, you know, either I or, the, or he will say something super daddy joke-like and we're like, ah, no, no, we, we went overboard with it. So, 이건 좀 아니에요. 이건 좀 아닌 것 같아요 is also good. So, 이건 좀 아닌 것 같아요. I, I, don't, think it, I don't think this is acceptable. And this also is very, very common. 이건 좀 아니지 싶어요. I don't think this is acceptable. I don't think this is good. So, 지 싶어요. I'll just keep it there. And I also saw another very, very good question. I say good question about many questions because they are truly good. Um, can I say, because I, because I put this word, 생일, for, you know, mom, in this case, is it okay to say 생일 and not say 생신 about your mom's or your parents' birthdays? Yes, it is okay. Um, okay, this is going to be... Um, what should I do? I will answer this a little bit in detail and come back to the 지 ending or more self-talk related expressions before I go on to another Q&A session, okay? So keep your questions coming. I will look at them later and answer them. So this one, very, very good point. Um, there are various levels of politeness in Korean, and sometimes it seems easy to understand them. Sometimes it's um, a little complicated. So this is a good example. Um, you see 존댓말, 반말. At first, you learn 존댓말, formal language. Oops, 반말. Casual language. And you think, okay, I, I got it. You put yo at the end to make 존댓말. You don't put anything at the end to make 반말. But there's more. Um, we actually made a video about this on, on our YouTube channel. And there are many people who mix 존댓말 and 반말 in one sentence. And that's because they just don't want to, for example, they want to make the barrier feel a little more blurry. Like, I'm older than you. You know, the, the kind of thought that's going on in their mind is, I'm older than you. I will still be respectful. I will still use 존댓말. I will just put yo at the end of every sentence. I will still do that for you. But here and there, I will mix like 반말 words. Like I will say 나 instead of 저. Uh, you know, for example. 
Oh, Korean, please. <웃음> 저는 음, 이게 좋은 것 같아요. This is a <웃음> typical um, 존댓말 sentence for I think this is a good one. Okay? Uh, 나는 이거에 이게 좋은 것 같아요. This is when you just look at it as is, just written like this. This is a wrong, incorrect sentence. Okay? 나는 이게 좋은 것 같아요. This doesn't work when you see it written like that in just text. Okay? So 나는 이게 좋은 것 같아요. But in real life, uh, depending on the dynamic between the two people that are talking, this also works. Like, um, for example, I sometimes do this too. Um, <clears throat> to for example, Yeji, Yeji teacher, teacher Yeji. Um, so, for example, I start the sentence like, uh, 나는, um, and then I just want to end it, end the sentence with yo. 이게 음, 좋은 것 같아요. And that's perfectly okay because Yeji is uh, 14 years younger than me. And I'm allowed, like socially, <laughs> culturally, I'm allowed to mix a little bit of pamal here and there. Um, even without her consent. And of course, in many other sentences, I will stick to 저는. So, there's a, what I'm saying is there is a gray area between 존댓말 and 반말. And your question about 생신, because it's your own mom, you're allowed to mix 반말 um, words and sentences here and there. So, uh, of course, uh, to my own mom, I will say 생신 축하드려요, which is a nice thing to say, 생신 축하드려요. Um, and I will discuss with my sisters, 엄마 생신 때뭐 해드릴까? What should we buy her uh, for her birthday? But then, again, sometimes it's okay to just switch back to 생일 because it's your own family. All right? So we're talking about whether it's okay to put 생일 instead of 생신 in the sentence like this. 엄마 생일이 언제였지? Yeah, it's fine. So what I talked about here is just this, this gray area that exists between 존댓말 and 반말. And it might be a little bit challenging at first to navigate through this gray area, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Just try talking to an older person, like somebody in their 50s or 60s, and you will see this all the time. Or watch uh, an interview watch an interview maybe on Asian Boss or some other interview channels where Korean native speakers who are relatively older are speaking to a younger interviewer interviewer and they will use say this all the time and you of course you can see this in dramas perfect okay so I'm gonna go back to um, some things you can say to yourself and then Come back to a Q&A session. Uh, 그럼 어른한테 언제 반말을 사용할 수 있어요? Um, when can you use 반말 to a grown-up or an old, older person? Never. Except when you are talking to yourself out loud. And you are safe, you can, you know, safely allow yourself to um, say things in 반말. Okay, so... I do not mind um, changing topics as long as you don't mind. <clears throat> All right. So, okay, some other co some other common phrases that you can say to yourself that I've prepared. Uh, 이제 어디 가지? Korean hunger, please. Okay. 엄마랑 반말 해도 됩니다. 네. 이제 뭐 하지? What should I do now? What should I do now? Like I've done that, I've done this, I've done all of the things that I could, you know, I, you know, I could do. 이제 뭐 하지? 이제 뭐 하지? What should I do? 이제 뭐 하지? Yeah. 오늘은 뭐 하지? 오늘은 뭐 하지? What should I do today? What should I do today? 오늘은 뭐 하지? 점심 뭐 먹지? 점심 뭐 먹지? 음, yeah. 점심 뭐 먹지? 이제 어디 가지? 이제 어디 가지? <웃음> Billy. 
집에만 있어 집에만 있는데 이제 뭐 하지? Billy's sentence translated to Korean. 집에만 있다. To stay only at home. 집에만 있는데 이제 뭐 하지? I'm stuck at home. What should I do now? 이제 is now. When you add a little bit of transition to it, okay? All right. Billy wants to learn Korean too. Um, yeah. I mean, he doesn't have to learn Korean. His Korean is perfect. But he could learn from my sense of humor and my um, amazing personality and all that. You know. So he's he's he always tell me tells me every day that I'm his role model. So, <laughs> um, Billy, thanks for joining. Um, 이제 뭐 하지? Okay. Uh, I also saw 다시피. 다시피. 다시피 is um, a little formal. 아시다시피. 아시다시피. Kind of sounds like Mississippi. <laughs> you know, the Mississippi River, I think. I haven't been there, but I've heard its name. Um, Billy 누구지? <laughs> Who is this Billy guy? Billy is um, a fellow Korean teacher from the YouTube channel Go Billy Korean. Just Billy Korean. Just type those two words and you will find his um, channel. Um, okay, I will type this 이만저만 아니다. 이만저만이 아니다. Okay, I'll answer this. So these two questions. And then I'll wrap up the self-talk session and come back with a Q&A. So, 다시피. 다시피 is like just as. Yeah. Um, so, 아시다시피 is as you, as you know. 보시다시피. As you can see. Uh, um, you can also say 알고 계시다시피. As you are aware, you know, or 들으셨다시피, as, as, as you've heard, 다시피, 보시다시피, yes, as you can see, you're learning with, studying with, talk to me in Korean. Good sentence. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Molly, for the words of encouragement. All right, so I hope you understood this. 들으셨다시피. 이만저만이 아니다 is, um, you know, when you say 이만저만, it's actually from 이만큼 plus 저만큼. So 만큼 is as much as this. 이만큼, this much. 저만큼, that much. So um, when you're asking for a certain amount of something, uh, 얼마나 드릴까요? How much shall I give you? Maybe a clerk can ask you. So um, you can say, oh, 이만큼 주세요, 이만큼, this much. Okay, 이만큼, 저만큼. And 이만큼, 저만큼, just think of these amounts as reasonable amounts that you can cope with. 이만큼, 저만큼. But it's not like, yeah, 하늘만큼, 땅만큼, like the sky, like the, the, the land, okay? But 이만큼, 저만큼이 아니에요. It's not this or that amount, it's going to be a huge amount. 이만저만이 아니다. So it means it's a, it's terrible. 이만저만이 아니에요. It's, it's, it's uh, terrible. It's a lot. So you can say 고생이 이만저만이. The hardship that somebody is going through is amazing. Okay? It's, it's, it's um, a lot. All right? Mm-hmm. 아하, 안녕하세요. 우리는 지금 한국어를 공부하고 있나요? 네, 맞아요. 한국어를 공부하고 있어요. 들, yeah, 들으셨다시피. Yeah, 들으셨다시피. You can use it in the past tense as well. 동민, 형들이나 누나들한테 반말로 할수 있나요? Um, can you use 반말 to older siblings? Yes, if you have their consent or if you're really young um, kids. Um, is it always bad? Is it always in a bad sense? Um, yes, it's always in a bad sense. 어이가 없네요. What does it mean? Okay, good question. Um, 
what do you call this? I, what do you call metol? Metol, metol uh, in English. M millstone. So, yeah, this oiga <laughs> meo. Uh, it's uh, nonsense, or it makes no sense. I can't believe. I can't believe you said that. Or it's uh, absurd. It's um, what else? Oigaopta. What does the dictionary say about oigaopta? It has many meanings, actually. It's like, um, I'm. Um, you can even say that it means I'm amazed at how stupid that sounded. Okay, oigaopta. And oi is, as far as I know, it's a part of a millstone. You know what a millstone is? You know, the, there is a lower part, lower half of the uh, millstone that is um, round and there's another round stone and you grind um, grains, right? Oi. And that the part that's connecting the upper millstone and the lower millstone is oi. Imagine it's gone, it, it's not there. You can't do anything like, oh, I, it doesn't work. So millstone. Oh, you go. Yeah, I mean, none of us have actually used a millstone in our lifetime, I, I, I guess, but you know what it is, right? Mm -hmm. All right, good. Uh, Larissa, why is katayo pronounced as kateo? Um, or even, you know, kateo. It's because in spoken Korean, there are some sounds that people prefer making over the standard sounds. It's just one of them, okay? So, katayo, kateo, it's just more colloquial. Just think of it as a colloquial thing. Okay, so let me go back to the questions that I got earlier and try to answer them. Mm -hmm. Good one. Um, past tense. Why does it just not switch to hunger? <laughs> Hesoyo and Hesoseo. Do you want some of my coffee? <laughs> what cup is this today? Um, I don't know. Hesoyo is I did something. Hesosoyo also means I did something. And the reason that there's one more ut here is to just emphasize the fact that you did it in the past. When you want to just um, add another layer of the past tense or this uh, 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 an element of the past tense, you need to use osoyo. So some people say, uh, I used to do it a long time ago. And they say, um, 예전에는 했었어요. I used to do it in the past, in, the, in you know, a long time ago. 예전에는 or 예전에는 했었었는데 <laughs> This is just a fun way, funny, being funny. Just adding, kind of like, you know, the childish word, tomorrow, morrow, you know, like you want to say the day after tomorrow, but you don't know the word. So you add one more morrow, you know, at the end, tomorrow, morrow. It's not a correct word, but you do understand what it means. I'm lovely official says, yeah. Uh, okay, this is the perfect example. Amazing, good example. 사랑했어. I loved you, 사랑했어. You know, 사랑했었어. It's like, I used to love you. That's a great set of examples. <laughs> yeah, when you hear 사랑했어, um, you, it, it could mean that you are still in love. It could, because you're just stating the simple fact that you loved someone at a certain given point in, in time. But 사랑했었어, it's like, I used to love you. 
Not anymore. All right? Aha. Uh -huh. 단이제 어, 7급이라고 되어 있는데 아직도 한국어로 거의 말을 못해요. 저는 글쓰기와 독서만 잘합니다. If you are only good at writing and reading, um, there's a simple solution. Practice your uh, pronunciation. Practice your pronunciation. 발음 연습 많이 하세요. 발음. 발음 연습 많이 하시면 잘할 수 있을 거예요. Yeah. Yeah, it gives a more dramatic vibe. All right. Good question. My violin, my precious, says, why do younger Koreans that I meet online, even knowing I'm older than them, they use panmal with me? Is it normal to Koreans um, uh, using informal language with foreigners? Mm, it really depends on the person. Um, maybe when you just say, for example, of course, you don't want to be rude or, or you don't want to be too direct about it. Like, use 존댓말 with me. Like, 존댓말 해주세요. You can't, I mean, 왜 반말 하세요? 왜 반말 해? Maybe, yeah, like that. Um, you can say that, but you don't want to be too rude, right? Too direct about it. Uh, I think it's, it's due to the fact that for them, they don't have many... Uh, friends from other countries with whom they speak only in Korean. Uh, maybe they are like kind of in like on the fence about whether to speak to you in fully Korean or um, in English. So I'm I'm saying what I'm saying is it's wrong to if you are going to speak Korean to somebody. You have to actually switch to the Korean mindset and Korean speaking mindset and use proper 존댓말 to somebody older than you because you wouldn't do that to uh, another Korean person, right? So you can be a little bit indirect about it, like 오빠라고 불, 부르세요 or 언니라고 부르세요. Maybe. Um, I'm sure there are nicer ways to say that. But um, my answer, my short answer is it's not okay. And Yet it is common for young Koreans who are meeting language exchange partners online to use Pammal to uh, people from other countries who are older. You can say Pakduhan, what Pakduhanim said. Why suddenly Pammal are you? Or you can just use Pammal back to them and they will realize, oh, I don't feel so good about being talked to in Pammal. Maybe I shouldn't do it to this person. Maybe they're trying to make you feel more comfortable. Yeah, maybe. So it really depends on the person. Um, you just have to wait until you know this person a little better. And if that person speaks to you in Pammal right from the start without asking you for permission, maybe don't talk to that person for much longer, okay? Ani, uh, thanks for the super chat comment. Thank you for the live sessions and uh, thank uh, thanks for keeping us entertained. I'm glad to hear that you are entertained by um, the live lessons. Thank you. Um, Mirella, what is the meaning of nunchi boda? Nunchi is reading the atmosphere. Okay, nunchi boda. 눈치, 눈치를 많이 봐요. When someone is described like this, 눈치를 많이 봐요. Or, yeah, good sentence to remember. 다른 사람들 눈치를 많이 봐요. 눈치, 눈 is your eyes, right? So, 눈치를 보다 means you're always trying to figure out what other people think about your action or what they're doing. So, 다른 사람들 눈치를 많이, 많이 봐요. Um, they are, or someone is, he is, are um, conscious of, very conscious uh, of what other people. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Is there any class on Panmal? Yes, we do have some lessons on Panmal, uh, both on our YouTube channel and on our website. Je suis moi asks, 어디 가지, 어디 갈까? Uh, okay. So today, this live class has the topic of how to talk to yourself, how to uh, say things to yourself. And these are some phrases that I introduced earlier. And all the phrases are centered around the ending chi. And the question that I just mentioned is ka. So, 어디 가지? The difference is in Summary, you can say this to yourself, not so much to yourself, okay? 어디 가지 is perfectly okay as a you know, self-talk, monologue sentence. 어디 갈까 is more toward another person, okay? McKinsey, thank you for the super chat comment and a cute emoticon. 감사합니다. Amy Jane Foster, oh, 감사합니다. Thank you for the super chat comment. And um, it says 안녕. Does YouTube have that or did you make it? Interested. Okay. Uh, where should we go? Yeah, 어디 가지 is like, where shall I go? 어디 갈까 is like asking another person, where shall we go? Right? Um, all right. I'm lovely official. 어떤 남친 친구가 저보다 나이가 많은데 저한테 반말을 하니까 기분이 좀안 좋았어요. 음... So, people will say things in 반말 to you even if they are not so close to you, if they feel like they're older than you. So, yes, it will happen from time to time. You have to be ready for it. Uh, Natasha, as a, uh, thank you for the super chat comment, by the way. As a foreigner and being in my 30s, how should I expect a Korean person to address me when I'm using my name? Usually, your name plus she, okay? Or depends on the it depends on the relationship with with the other person. But usually, your name and she. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing your name correctly, Latesha or Leitsha, and um, or if you have another name you prefer. But you say uh, your name is pronounced as. Uh, or your name is followed by she usually. What did Billy say? When you're... Ah, okay, yeah. I shouldn't have seen that. Yeah, so in that case, when you <laughs> read a comment... Odigazi. Yeah. Where is that? Yeah, Billy. So, yeah, when you see a comment from someone that you have a reasonable amount of respect toward, and you see something like this, and you say, ah, 이건 좀 아닌 것 같아요. Yeah, I don't think this is acceptable. Okay? All right. Yeah, someone has woken up. Yes. Um, Yul is there. Yul is a very, my, my little one, he's a very chill baby. But he cries only when he's sleepy and he's fighting with his brother. Uh, usually when he's hungry, he eats really well, so uh, yeah, but <laughs> the, <laughs> he's crying because he just woke up and he's like looking for some fun things to do. Yeah, he's okay. Um, I think he's with um, my wife. All right, but yeah, it's almost time to wrap up the session before I head to my office. I'm still at home. I'm gonna wrap up the session after I answer two more questions and um, go back, go go back or go to work and get some things done before I come back with a 3 p.m. session. Okay, so... <laughs> Danita, your aerial flip in 
Instagram was super awesome. Thank you for seeing that. I love doing flips um, and I want to teach Jun, my son, how to do those things. I taught him the cartwheel. I taught him how to ride the long board the other day. I'm teaching him how to ride a bike and maybe next year I think I can teach him how to do a backflip. Um, all right, super chat comments. Uh, Salomao Davi, thank you for the super chat comment with the emoticon that says 최고. Luis, thank you for the super chat comment. Um, the question is, 요즘은 사랑의 불시착 많이 보고 있는데, you're watching the drama 사랑의 불시착. 한국에 있는 사람들이 북한말 스타일 잘 알아요? Yes, people can easily recognize and understand North Korean accent super um, easily. I mean, of course, there are some words that we're not used to, but we have uh, been exposed to North Korean accent quite a lot, so it's not difficult to understand it for a native Korean person. What is my Instagram? My Instagram is you will don't cry. This is my Instagram. Um, it's one of the few accounts that talk to me in Korean. Our account follows on uh, uh, Instagram. So how many hours until 3 p.m. where you where I am? It's going to be in about seven hours. All right. Mm -hmm. One more question before I go. Okay, um, Anna. I will answer Anna's question before I go, right here. <laughs> 자 마지막 질문이에요. 마지막 질문. 쓰다, 이용하다, 사용하다. 쓰다 is to use. 이용하다 is to use. 사용하다 is to use. Usually, 쓰다 is the most common one that you can learn um, at first to mean to use something. Um, 이거 Can I use this? 이거 써도 돼요? You don't want to say 이거 이용해도 돼요, 이거 사용해도 돼요 to a friend because it's uh, too formal. Um, yeah. 이용하다 and 사용하다 are more formal because obviously they are based on the Chinese characters, but um, 이용하다 is more common in services, like using services, service 이용. And 사용하다 is usually, it can be used about services, but it can be about um, 장비 사용. Just maybe if you remember these three phrases, 서비스 이용, 서비스 이용, 장비 사용, 이거 써도 돼요. Maybe this will give you some guidelines as to when you can use these three words, okay? All right, so... That was a little bit of information that I wanted to give you before I go. And I saw uh, um, <laughs> Iron Fist um, sending us a super chat comment says, um, I, Loki God of Mischief, love your channel so much. <laughs> Thank you, Loki, for um, loving our channel. I hope you do come back in the next Avengers series. Um, because you disappeared in the last film and uh, you know, a lot of people are wondering whether you're coming back or not. <laughs> Super chat from Loki. Although my um, favorite character is Thor. <laughs> I will see you in the next class and have a fantastic day, everyone. Have a good evening, if it's evening there. You shall return. Okay. Is it a spoiler for the next movie? I don't know when it is coming out. Like all the movies has, has been, you know, have been postponed too, right? Um, anyway, thank you so much. I will see you in the next one. 감사합니다. Bye-bye.